SN 2011 FE, initially designated PTF 11 KLY, was a Type Ia supernova discovered by the Palomar Transient Factory PTF survey on 24 August 2011 during an automated review of images of the Messier 101 from the nights of 22 and 23 August 2011. It was located in Messier 101, the Pinwheel Galaxy, 21 million light years from Earth. It was observed by the PTF survey very near the beginning of its supernova event, when it was approximately one million times too dim to be visible to the naked eye. It is the youngest type Ia ever discovered. About 13 September 2011, it reached its maximum brightness of apparent magnitude plus 9.9 .9, which equals an absolute magnitude of about minus 19, equal to 2.5 billion suns. At plus 10 apparent magnitude around 5 September, SN 2011 Fe was visible in small telescopes. As of 30 September the supernova was at plus 11 apparent magnitude in the early evening sky after sunset above the northwest horizon. It had dropped to plus 13.7 as of 26 November 2011. Topic. Discovery The Palomar Transient Factory is an automated telescopic survey that scans the sky for transient and variable astronomical events. Information is fed to the National Energy Research Scientific Computing Center at Lawrence Berkeley National Lab, which computes the information to identify new star events. After the initial observation of the SN 2011 FE event, telescopes were used in the Canary Islands Spain to identify the emission spectrum of light emitted at various stages of the event. Following this, the Hubble Space Telescope, the Lick Observatory in California, and the Keck Observatory in Hawaii were used to observe the event in greater detail. Although SN 2011 FE was initially very faint, it brightened rapidly. On the day it was first imaged, 24 August 2011, it was one million times too dim to be visible to the unaided eye. One day later, it was 10,000 times too dim. The next day it was six times brighter than that. On 25 August, the EVLA radio telescope failed to detect radio emissions from SN 2011 FE. While such emissions are common for other types of supernovae, they have never been observed for type Ias. Two possible candidates were proposed for the precursor system, however, subsequent analysis appears to rule them out. Topic. Importance of type Ia supernovae and SN 2011 FE Type Ia supernova events occur when a white dwarf star accretes enough additional matter to exceed the Chandrasekhar limit and collapses, triggering runaway fusion and a supernova explosion. Because this collapse happens at a consistent mass, the resulting explosions have very uniform characteristics, and are used as standard candles to measure the distance to their host galaxies. The exact brightness and behavior of a type Ia supernova depends on the metallicity of its parent star, the fraction of the star composed of elements heavier than hydrogen and helium before its evolution into a white dwarf. Because the SN 2011 Fe event was detected so early, astronomers can gain a more accurate measurement of its initial composition and of its evolution during the supernova explosion, and so refine their models of type Ia supernova events, resulting in more precise distance estimates for other type Ia supernova observations. Point one: Type Ia supernova standard candles may help provide evidence to support the hypothesis of dark energy and the accelerating expansion of the universe. A better understanding of type Ia supernova behavior may in turn allow theoretical models of dark energy to be improved. References External links Carrot Nature, nearby supernova may illuminate dark energy puzzle Berkeley scientists discover an instant cosmic classic supernova USA Today, nearby supernova blooms into view Supercomputer and Superboffin spot rare baby supernova Light curves and spectra on the open supernova catalog SN 2011 FE animations Rochester Academy of Sciences index page on SN 2011 FE Supernova SN 2001 FE